Hello to all, and thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to tell you a story from the world of Elbor. A winter tale, oft used in Sunplume, told to the children of the town. The raging woods are a dangerous place, but a great help to our little town of Sunplume. From them, we are able to gather food, firewood, and plant life that provides life-saving medicines to our people. But beware the forest, young ones. For within dwells an ancient, powerful, and capricious being, Archfey Boreas, King of the North Wind. One bitter winter, many years ago, three courageous siblings decided they'd had enough of being cold. Their family had fallen on hard times, and the chilling wind of the night's blizzard cut through their rickety home like the icy fangs of the Thuela. The eldest and strongest sibling declared he would enter the woods and entreat Boreas' aid. Certainly the king of the north wind could provide the means to fend off this miserable cold. Despite their name, the raging woods fell silent. An eerie chill filled the eldest child's bones with terror. He had never been this deep into the forest. Snow was piling up around his shins as he stepped, and he was all by himself. Still, he persisted his great strength, churning the snow as he plowed ever forward. And after what felt like an eternity, the Archfey appeared before him with a sinister look on its ethereal face. Show me you are worthy, croaked the Archfey, and I shall bestow upon you the gift of warmth. Shaking to his boots, colder than ever before, the eldest son declared, My strength will prove my worth. Then lift this stone, bellowed Boreas with an icicle grin, as a rock the size of a large pig materialized between them. The eldest child huffed and puffed as he gripped the rock. He knew he was strong enough to do this, but his frigid bones creaked under the strain and his frozen muscles refused to cooperate, giving way just as he heaved the stone above his head. Soon it came crashing down on him, pinning his weary body to the earth. The second and smartest sibling was next to enter the woods. Knowing already that his elder brother would have overestimated himself, he had told his family to stand back and watch him work. With a compass and map, he made short work combing the forest, and soon enough, the Archfey descended upon him. Show me you are worthy, and I shall bestow upon you the gift of warmth. My intellect will prove my worth, spake the second sibling. There is nothing in nature I cannot outsmart. Then catch this fox, wheezed Boreas, betwixt his periwinkle lips as a white fox appeared and skittered past the two. No fool, the second sibling chose not to give chase, but instead to lay a trap, a complex series of ropes, pulleys, and a net, waiting patiently for the fox to take his carefully placed bait. As the white fox crept towards the trigger, however, nothing occurred. The metal parts used on the trap's construction had become frozen over by the jellied rind. Audacious to the last, the second sibling pulled the rope himself, lodging it free of its design, but as the metal snapped and the counterweight descended, it was he who was hoisted into the trees, tangled amidst his own web. Meanwhile, the youngest child stood, shivering, at the edge of the woods, awaiting the return of her brave brothers. But when hours passed and no one returned, she became worried. With no power and no plan, the young girl stumbled forward through the trees, listening closely for the cries of her brothers. Instead, she heard the chuckling voice of Archfey Boreas, nearly bowling her over as he appeared within the howling wind of the winter storm. <laughs> Show me you are worthy, he chortled, and I shall bestow upon you the gift of warmth. I'm not worthy of anything, said the young girl plainly. But if I don't find my brothers, there's no way my family will survive the winter. Like a withered willow branch bending in the breeze, the North Wind King's eyebrow arched. As he turned to reveal it, somehow, the eldest child was just behind him, still pinned to the snowy earth. The young girl flew to her brother's aid, and despite her lesser strength, together they were able to lift the stone. Once freed, they soon heard the pleading cries of the second sibling, still tied into the trees above them. With the instruction of the second sibling, the oldest and youngest took the places of the critical broken parts in his trap and were able to lower him to the ground in seconds. They looked around. Boreas was nowhere to be found. As they returned home, arms slung around each other in camaraderie, the siblings shared their stories of their frightening encounters with the King of the North Wind, exchanging gratitude for the assistance of their siblings, and reveling in the success of their joint efforts. 
Curiously, not a one of them felt cold for the rest of the winter. From all of us here at Venture Forth, we want to just say happy holidays. We hope you enjoy this time, and thank you so much, as always. Bye, nerds. <laughs>